For weeks now, this mugshot is the only image we have of the man who's found himself in the national spotlight. He's at the center of racial tension spreading across the country, even as far as the highest office in the land. This is a tragedy. 28-year-old George Zimmerman, a self-appointed watch captain from a relatively quiet neighborhood in Sanford, Florida. But on the rainy night of February 26, everything changed. Zimmerman shot and killed an unarmed black teenager. This was not a racial issue. It was a self-defense issue. 17-year-old Trayvon Martin was walking home alone. Zimmerman tells police Martin looks suspicious and claims he attacked him. Witnesses say the two fought and that's when Zimmerman pulled out his gun. On that fateful night, you know, something, something bad happened, but I don't believe that it, it was George Zimmerman who did something wrong. He was acting in self-defense. Zimmerman's father is white and his mother is Hispanic. He lives here. Victor Rodriguez also lives in the neighborhood. He says Zimmerman was, quote, kind of a loner. I mean, I, I never really spoke to, to him, so um, I just used to just see him walking around, basically. I don't know if he was on patrol or... Danny, who did not want to give his last name, says it's a good neighborhood, with only two robberies in the last month. Kids everywhere. Kids play out back a lot. Family-oriented, I guess you could say. So far, Zimmerman has not been arrested or charged. It's why Martin's parents, along with numerous civil rights leaders, say the case is racially motivated. They say the shooter would be in custody by now had he been black and the victim white. George Zimmerman is not a racist. Whatever uh, transpired that, that evening uh, was not a, a result of racial profiling. So far, Zimmerman has not spoken publicly. He's been in hiding ever since the shooting. Nicole Grether, The Associated Press.